Hey guys, JDS here, and this is my $140 GTX 970. Alright, so before I go into anything, I just want to do a quick backstory on this video card. I stumbled upon this card on eBay while I was searching for a... like, used graphics cards, like R9 380Xs and R9 290s and the like. And so, I was searching through eBay, and I stumbled upon this card for about 140 bucks. Um, the seller listed this card as a OEM GTX 970 pulled out of a pre-built PC. Um, as you can see it looks very OEM. There's literally no markings aside from these couple of stickers right here at the bottom which I don't think the camera wants to zoom in on. Uh, there's a sticker on the back but the back is very plain. It did come with a back plate, surprisingly enough. Um, we've got some SLI fingers on the back of the card. Um, let me see if, I, see if I can focus on this sticker. There you go. There's a sticker. And other than that, it has a single fan. <laughs> Three heat pipes on the cooler. The... Uh, PCB itself is blue, so that's another indication of it being an OEM card. But for 140 bucks, I figured, hey, might as well give it a shot because that's cheaper than some 1050 Ti's that you see out there on the market. Um, so I went ahead and bought it. It took about a week and a half to get to me, uh, and well, here it is, I'm making a video on it. Uh, now, long story short, is this actually a 970? This is this is actually a legitimate 970. After doing a bit of research, I found out that this card is actually a uh, a, pa a was it like a Paragon? No, not Paragon. It's a. Uh, I mean, let me go look it up real quick. All right, so I I looked it up. It's a uh, it's actually a Pegatron GTX 970. Um, I I have pulled up the tech power up page for this, and. I actually that that card that you see right there this this is the actual card from that picture one of the uh I guess the contributors to this site uploaded an image for this particular bios page but as you can see um from the specs if the camera can focus from the specs you've got a GPU core clock of 1051 megahertz uh, memory clock of 1,753 megahertz. So all in all, this is this is just a reference 970. Um, you can see all the uh, the particular BIOS internals in there. You got like a uh, thermal limits, memory support, and all that cool schnaz. Uh, but yeah, other than that, this is this is a uh, a reference GTX 970. Um, I have ran a few benchmarks with this particular card. In fact, I'll pull up the results real quick here. Uh, 3D Mark results. I ran it both uh, stock and overclocked as well. So let's uh, pull up the results here and I'll show you guys once I get that up. Alright, so here are the uh, 3D Mark Fire Strike results. The result on the left is the stock result, and the result on the right is what. I would say is the maximum overclock on this card. Now, testing was done on my ITX PC that I just recently did a video on. It's my uh, E3 1231v3 system with 16 gigs of RAM and it's a 4 core 8 thread Xeon. Some basic stuff right there, but uh, as you can see, the scores do indicate that this is a legitimate GTX 970. Um, as you can see from the overclocked results, I was able to do like a plus 255 megahertz overclock on the core with this card and I think another 350 on the memory, 350 megahertz. And so I was able to get overall like a 15% uh, boost in performance. But it's quite a considerable boost in my opinion in terms of overclock. You'd, you'd be hard pressed to get that on a uh, 1060. Now, speaking of 1060, when you overclock this 970, it does get to about 
the 1060 6 gig performance, so that's something going for it. Actually, that's something to note because this card only costed 140 bucks. 140 bucks got me GTX 1060 performance. I'll do that uh, any day, every day. But yeah, so uh, let me just. Uh, I have pictures of this card, the internals. Um, I'll pull that up on my computer as well. But I did take a couple of pictures of the internals of this card, and this card comes with like a pretty beefy, well, relatively beefy heatsink. Um, you can probably see it in there. That's a pretty thick heatsink, if I do say so myself. It has a three, it, it's got three heat pipes for the cooler. And if you just kind of look underneath here, you can see that the memory modules are being cooled as well as the uh, VRM modules over here so that's one thing to to note even though this is a cheap OEM uh, 970 it, it's very well done in my opinion uh, it even I mean you'd be hard-pressed to find regular 970s that even have a backplate and this is this is like a, a, a brushed aluminum backplate that's a pretty well pretty finish uh pretty uh premium finish if you do a if if you ask me uh though it is missing a screw right there <laughs> it's missing a screw but i did take this card apart looked at the uh pcb itself it's it's a reference pcb with a very very good graphics chip in it so uh, I just wanted to make a quick video on this graphics card. If you find these on eBay, uh, if you find them for a good price, I definitely recommend getting one of these cards. This is a relatively good buy. And I know on eBay there's a bunch of 970s that pop around for like 200 bucks. Let me check real quick and I'll get back to you guys. All right, so we have the eBay page up for GTX 970s, and you, as you can see, they're averaging around $200. So you got one here, this uh, MSI, looks like the gaming 4G uh, 970 with the Twin Forza 5 cooler. This is 200 bucks. This is actually not, not a bad card. I owned this card for a short while. I did like the cooler on it. Uh, you got another one here, Founders, it looks like. I don't know if that's the founders. No, it's an Eno 3D. Um, it's 200 bucks. This one's 250. But you can find them for around. I mean, some of these are auctions, but the well, let's look up to buy it now. But yeah, it's 200 bucks, 179. That's a pretty that's a pretty good price. But I did find this for. 140 bucks. It was a really new listing, and I jumped on it as soon as I saw it. Um, if you could find, again, if you could find this card for anywhere around near that price, that's a damn good deal in my books. But that's it for tonight, guys. I just banged out two videos for you after not uploading for a month. Um, if you guys like the content, like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.